Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to Shooting the Shoot with the Smiths. <laughs> Hope you guys like the little intro there. Ooh, the camera's shaking a little bit. <laughs> We're trying to be creative, guys. We uh, we still have not signed back into the Premiere Pro yet to be able to make an edited video. Yeah. So we're coming straight to you, straight off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be an edited, guys. This is going to be just another shoot and shoot. Yep, I played the the song off my phone. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that was just a little intro music right there. Uh, and I know a lot of people have asked, who who sings that song? What's it called and who sings it? It's called Our Someday, and uh, I think it's... Flux Vortex. Yeah, Flux Vortex. So the song is... Uh, F-L-U-X. Our... Here, I'll show you guys. That's what it is right there. That's the song title, Our Someday, and that's who sings it, Flux Vortex. Other than that, good Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as you guys can see, we got the fire rolling in the background. Here, let me spin you guys. There we go. We got the fire rolling. We have, uh, Lisa and I have been taking bites out of this pile. And uh, we have munched into it pretty good right here in the front area and all the way over here to the left. And uh, yeah, don't uh, don't mind that little pile right there, guys. We'll get to it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been pulling stuff up, trimming them up, and uh, keeping the limbs and logs that we want and burning the rest of it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We will probably do a couple of these in a row, guys, the STS videos, bringing it to you live, raw, and uncut, just until we can get logged back in and feel safe about doing things on the internet again. Yeah. <laughs> Which should be probably tomorrow. We'll get back up and rolling and start doing things like that. But for today, a little bit of work. <laughs> we are going to be loading up Uncle David's trailer and taking it back up to Come On Mountain. Getting everything cleared up out of the way, guys, so we can get rolling through here on Dreamers Landing. But that view, huh? Starting to look better and better, guys. It's opening up. Opening up. Doggies are hanging out this morning. There she is. The Shouse. Oh, bless you, bless you. So, looks like uh, over here, all I got to do is just grab this last pallet. We'll pull this pallet out of here, guys, get it hooked up, and we'll be on the way. So, I'm going to hand the camera over to Lissa. She's going to put you guys on a pause, or she could just follow me over to the truck and watch me back up, however you please. Here you are, my lady. <laughs> There he goes, guys, walking off in the distance. Thanks for moving the tarp. <laughs> you guys, I am so excited to start working on the shelves. So, let's go. I'm gonna walk you guys over here, give you kind of an idea, right? So this is the kids' shells. We're gonna be building a deck that comes off from here and it goes all the way down, right? And then on this side will be the other shed, right? So we're in the breezeway and this is gonna be where my kitchen is and our living room. All right, here's Michael. Oh, Need to go back that way I know to the left. We need to go up a little bit too. Crank it. Crank it. Hey, will you come into the back of the trailer and like kind of guide me?
Back up. Whoa, whoa. Too much, guys. Too much. Okay. That looks good. Too much. A little much? <laughs> Too much mustard. <laughs> Yeah, we can get that on there. Woo! Told ya! I'll take these boards just in case there's nothing. I don't remember what was up there to put it on. That come on mountain. You guys on pause and we'll get to going oh hold on guys safety first let's lock this down all right now let's load it up it's a bit cloudy today guys but it's still a beautiful day For those who do not know, the creek is just right over there. Runs pretty much alongside most of our driveway. Yeah. One day we will park all of this out. Yep. Take and out all the little stuff. Just we, leave the big trees. Yep. And you'll be able to see the creek a lot better now I mean the creek is only probably 50 feet away or so yeah maybe 60 I do want to say uh, thank you again so much to Uncle David for letting me keep your trailer hostage for a couple of weeks yeah. <laughs> hey come get your bed frame yeah <laughs> <laughs> I told him I would be, bring the uh, bed frame up when I got the water. That's exactly why Lissa did not want the bed frame that's still sitting there. <laughs> because she didn't want it sitting in the yard for a year and not doing anything with it. Yeah. And yet, there it sits. <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming around the, the corner. And the end of the end. Right. The end of the driveway. In the distance, you can see Uncle David's one of his sheds out there. Oh, let me see. I want to show them something. Check this out, guys. Woo, come across real fast over all of our mail that's on the dash. Look at that pile of shale. That <laughs> pile of shale. Um, that's something I'm going to be doing in a little while. I will be getting a couple of wheelbarrow loads of this shale right here and taking it in the front of the camper. Uh, right there at the tongue of the camper. I'm going to spin you around so you can see my queen. Uh, I want to put some of that shale in the front of the camper area where it's blocked up because it dips in right there and collects a lot of water. Um, and it just makes a big puddle. So I'll put a lot of shale and then I'm going to get some of that three-quarter clean and level it off. And then <laughs> I'll be finishing up the foam board all the way around. Yep. Here, spin you back around. There we go.
so pretty fall time here. I mean, it's pretty during spring and summertime, but everything is like grown, like yeah. overgrown, and then you can't see through the wood as easily. But now that it's fall, winter, and everything is kind of dying off, we can see clear yeah. through the woods and stuff, you know? Got Eclipse over there hanging out with the goats. <laughs> Look at her jumping. <laughs> Hi, Eclipse. Hi, Chanel. <laughs> Coming into Uncle David's boneyard he's got over here. Well, if uh, if you wanna if you guys wanna jump out and uh, hang out with Alyssa, I will spin this thing around. Let's get out. There you go, guys. I'm gonna flip y'all around. Nice and easy. Just tuck it in. Just tuck it in. <laughs> I forgot where it was. Was it? Go in, to the right. I don't know if it was in front of the little trailer or if it was in front of the boat or if it was beside the little trailer. I'm gonna tuck it beside that little trailer. Seems like a good spot for for it to go, I think. I actually think uh, it was over here because it had the golf cart on it and then we moved Uncle David's big trailer in front of that so that's why I'm putting this one. Glad I brought my block. A little bit of good news, I am feeling a lot better. I'm able to move around a lot, able to lift up a good amount of weight. Um, when I do still tighten real down hard on my knee and bend all the way down, I'm still a little sore. My hip is a little sore, but I am recovering nicely. Just if anyone wanted to know. <laughs> He's bouncing back now, but I feel like his future might be in a little bit of pain. What do you think, dear? Your future self might I be in a little bit of pain. Living in the moment and not trying to dwell on the future or the past. <laughs> Everybody going up. <laughs> Woo! Rolling back. Rolling back. Probably should have chucked the tires first. I'm gonna pull up a little bit and then I'll lower the trailer back down to level it back up. There we go. 
That's mo better. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get out of Uncle David's boneyard area, get on back down, and I'll show you what we're gonna do a little bit more on the landing. Put you on a pause for a minute. Pause. <laughs> you just missed Odin talking to you guys. He was saying, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. So if anybody's new to the channel and don't know much about yeah. the doggy situation, the doggies are not just outside dogs, guys. They do come inside every night. They come inside when it's bad weather. Ain't that right, Halo Balo? Ain't that right? Oh, oh, you ready? Ah! Uh. 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 Get in there, Odie. Get in there. Uh. Odin don't want none. <laughs> He's so strong. <laughs> when he plays with mommy, though, he's ever ever so gentle. <laughs> Odin wants to fight. Oh, you want to fight? Well, uh, we'll play with the doggies a little bit more in a minute. I got, <laughs> I squirreled off, guys. <laughs> I am going to show you what um, I'm going to continue to do today, though. Why don't you come over here? Other than cleaning up this area in the front right here a little more, I still have to foam in this right here. So these are underneath, this is underneath the cabin or up underneath the camper. No foam board here yet. Whew, I gotta catch my breath playing with the dogs. You see my face right here? Can you see it? The scratch. Yeah. That's where Odin got me yesterday. <laughs> but I still need to foam board under here guys and foam board right here in the front. Oh. Excuse you. Excuse me. Whew, yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, I was like, Bruh. <laughs> let me uh, move this walker. So, I, I don't know if you can tell real good, but this is really a lot lower than right here where the rest of the driveway is. Man, excuse me. It's, I had four cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> it's that cinnamon, I think. Um, but I want to get the shale and build the base up right here a lot and then get a little bit of that three quarter inch clean rock put down in the front and then I'll be able to finish putting in the foam board right here in the front and that ought to do it finish it up nicely because guys <laughs> we're getting ready to be so much warmer I know we gave hints about what we've done but a couple of days ago guys right <laughs> the matter of fact like two what was it two days ago three days ago yeah we uh we put a down payment down and a lot of you have already guessed what it is but we're gonna go ahead and tell you oh it's gonna be so exciting we have purchased a carport for the camper. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, let me hop up. Now we did think about just oh, building. Oops, hold on one second, guys. Let me let's spin you. Go ahead, baby. So we uh, we have thought about building something over the camper. Yep. And all and you know all the different routes we could have taken. Because there was a there was at one point. At one point, we were going to use these trees. We were just going to park in between these trees and, and try to use these trees, you know, as poles. And use our already what we have, you know, because we already, we already have those trusses, right? Right. So, <laughs> instead of building with our trusses, we had a plan. Yeah, that's right. What was the plan? To get a carport. To get a carport. <laughs> We're actually going to use all the material that we got from that old tiny house that we took down. Probably to build uh, some structures for yep. the animals. Uh, maybe, some more storage. Yeah, maybe like a little shop area for you. Yep, a you little know. garage shop or maybe yep. an old crafty cabin for Lissa. Yeah, uh. so we will be utilizing those materials. It's just not for the carport. Right. <laughs> 
And this is going to be a pretty big carport, guys. Yeah, and I, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of happy with what we decided to do. So. We, we got a really good deal on it. Yeah. Really good price. Well, in my maybe not a great price, but I think for what we got, how we wanted it, where we went in, and the big thing about it was availability. Right, and then also later down the road in the future, if we wanted to move the camper somewhere else on the landing, um, we can do that and right. also move that carport. Let me back up and I'll show you guys. So, you're good, baby. You didn't have to back up. Basically, this carport is going to be 35 feet long. And to give it some perspective, our camper is 30 feet long, uh, 33 feet long with the tongue. So the camper is 30 feet, tongue is 33. So this is going to be 35 foot long. So it'll be just a little bit past the back end back there and a little bit past the front. Now, as far as the width, listen, do you remember how wide it is? No. <laughs> 18, feet. 18 feet. So it's going to be 18 feet wide to go across. And here, I'll come over here. And to give you guys an idea, the camper itself is eight feet wide. Plus we have the slide out. The slide out is three feet. So three feet on that eight is 11. We're gonna be going about a little bit more past here. That way the, the slide out is underneath and a little bit more here. So we got about five extra feet that we can split the difference. And then as far as height, it's gonna be 12 foot legs with a little peak. It's gonna make it about 15 feet high. All I need is about 12 foot, six inches on top with the AC. So that's that. <laughs> we're pretty excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we uh, we were told the reason we bought from this place is, uh, and I I don't want I want to be a hundred percent. And when I think it's River Valley Sheds, I think so. Arkansas River Valley Sheds. I um I'll put the where where we ended up getting it from in the description, and uh, and the guy's name and everything because they were real cool. And we did go to. Uh, Duval's first. We went to Duval's and talked to this. Talked. We talked to the same guy. <laughs> we talked to the same bloke. <laughs> we talked to the same guy, and he told us that um, he was more than happy to do business with us. We, he was even going to give us a little discount. But they were like six to twelve weeks out on delivery. Yeah, it's a little too long for us. So we're trying to get this before the snow really hits. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to keep uh, most of the ice off of us this year if we can. Yeah. So we, we'll get done though. We went with this other place and uh, they said it was going to be two to four weeks delivery Which and install. much better. So. So it's going to be an 18 by 35, 12 foot high. Um, we put $750 down deposit. And I think the total price was like $3,800 or 37 something or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, because of the amount we put down our payment, if we paid it out in payments, Excuse me, which we are not going to do. <laughs> but if we paid it out in payments, I think our payments are like 140 bucks a month or something like that. Uh, but we are going to go ahead on our next paycheck and go ahead and put like another thousand dollars down, and then after that, pay it off on our January paycheck. And that way, it's 90 days, same as cash. Yeah. But that's the next plans, guys. That is the next plans for now. I'm going to take that piece of foam board over there. Do you guys see? Start cutting it up for those stairs. Get our wheelbarrow rolling. Start getting in place over there. And then, uh, well, we gotta get live for, or gotta get ready for our live tonight. We're also going to um, be on uh, Michigan. Oh, uh, that's right, guys. So forty fifth parallel. Yep. Um, we got. Let's end this right here on a high note on some awesome, awesome news. Um, you want to go live from inside the shouse tonight? Yeah. Ooh, we might be going live from inside the shouse. Ugh. We'll keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out. <laughs> um, some, uh, we're going to end on two other really big pieces of information. Number one, I don't know if she told you or not. Did you tell him? Nope. Lissa's crafty meditation is partially monetized. Yay! Mm. <laughs> she only needs, uh, I think, a hundred... What was it like 165 hours or something like that to be fully monetized on the 4,000 hours? 
but she did uh, do the email and accept the YouTube partnership. And this is Lissa's very first time ever owning her own business. It is in her name. This is everything for her. Yeah. Her whole life, she's always been doing work for other people or for someone else or even Drifting Dreamers 5. You know, it's something that, that is mine and Lissa's together. It's ours. <laughs> Lissa's Crafty Meditation, this is all her. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. Thanks for all the help, guys, and all the support, by yep. the way. Uh, she has over, I think she has close to 3,200 subscribers, and she's almost there on the watch hours. Probably one more video is going to put her over the top, or if she can just get some more hours through there. Uh, or maybe I can still pressure her into doing a crafting live. Oh. <laughs> um, <We'll see. laughs> and uh, for the last and final part of some super exciting news, uh, not only in addition to going live tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time, as we always do. And so if you guys want to hang out with us live and ask us any questions or get to know us a little bit better on a personal level, or if you just don't have uh, anything else to do, 6 o'clock Central Time on a Friday night, but hang out with some old drifting dreamers, <laughs> come and hang out with us, guys. We're just going to be hanging. But uh, later on after that, 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be hanging out live with our friends uh, Clarissa and Jason over at Michigan Life Above the 45th Parallel. Um, they have exciting uh, news, guys. Man, they, no, they, they've, already <laughs> they, okay. they've already announced it. They've already announced it. Yeah, they have become officially monetized. <laughs> they hit their 4,000 watch hours, guys. They have over 1,000 subscribers. They are completely monetized. And we feel honored because, well, they told us they got over the hump on our live. Yeah. <laughs> so because of that, we're going to come and hang out with them tonight. So if you guys want to hang out and do a little bit of extra hanging, <laughs> uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central Time, hang out with us and Ola, what is it? Uh, dang, what his uh, his nickname? Clar uh, Shizzle? No. <laughs> dang, what is it, man? I forgot what it is. Dang it. Dang it. If you know, leave it in the comments. Put it in the comments, guys. <laughs> I know you guys know. Is it... Sizzle? Oh, it's Sizzle. Uh, Sizzle. <laughs> I love that nickname. Well, we gave you guys a pretty long SDS today. Hung out almost a half an hour with us today. Thank you guys so much for hanging. Um, we are going to be getting the Premiere Pro back uh, installed and up and running so Lissa can bring you guys some cool edited footage. Be on the lookout. We're going to be cleaning up some more area, burning some more stuff, and, uh, well... Getting ready for Christmas. Starting, yeah, and we're, uh, we're going to be bringing you some videos of how the we're going to be having power inside of the house mm -hmm. so much so much going on guys <laughs> we love y'all thank you so much for hanging out with us today don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not subscribed to drifting dreamers 5 and lissa's crafty meditation <laughs> come meditate with me <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow we'll see you guys tonight <laughs> bye bye guys